Hey guys, welcome back to Regular Secular Mama. If you are new here, my name is Cassie Roberts and I'm a homeschooling mom to two kiddos currently ages 8 and 11 years old. Before we start, I would like to share that this video is actually sponsored, but of course all the opinions that I share here are mine and my kids. I was contacted by the lovely Courtney Cross of North Star Educational Explorations and she asked me to review one of their unit studies. Courtney Cross is a work at home mom. She's a homeschooling mom and they have been publishing unit studies that are nature based. They all look so fun. They were, I think, geared toward kids who were maybe on the younger end of what I teach. So I looked through her website and I selected one that I thought would go nicely with what we are studying in history this year. We are doing American history. And we actually wouldn't get to the Dust Bowl, I don't think, this year because we're doing the early part of American history. But I thought it tied in well enough and I went ahead and chose this one because I could tailor it up just a little bit and ask a little more of my daughter. So what we did is we took this unit study and we basically just replaced our science and history for one week with activities from the unit study, and then we continue doing our other, you know, the three R's, reading, writing, arithmetic, alongside this. I will flip the camera over and do a flip through of what I have. So I'm usually a paper person. I am playing with digital planning, but I went ahead and printed out the whole unit study. It was, let's see, it was 26 pages, so uh, front and back, that's 13 sheets of paper. It wasn't too much to print out and it would fit nicely in with, um, you know, just a folder or something. So anyway, I'm going to flip the camera around so I can kind of do a flip through and show you what all is in this unit study. Okay, instead of turning the camera over and doing a whole flip through, I'm just going to show you a couple of the pages because I don't want to show too much, but I have a black and white laser printer. So the PDF comes with a uh, much more colorful illustrations all throughout the unit study. And of course you can just like keep it on your computer or use an iPad or something, but I like to have paper instructions, especially if it's something I'm not familiar with. So one of the first things I noticed about the unit study is that she includes different um, ability levels for each activity. So. She has level one explorers, which is like kids who are not really reading and writing yet, who are kind of just tagging along for the fun. And then you have level two adventurers, and these are kids who are mostly reading and writing and have some basic math skills, but are not quite advanced enough to be working independently yet. And then level three, she calls voyagers, and these are kids who are older and a little more independent and definitely reading and writing well and who maybe have a little bit more advanced math skills. So I really like that she does that. The book selections are labeled with the different, you know, age levels. And I believe the videos are also labeled for different age levels. And most of the activities have a little symbol here also to show which age level they might be best used with. Now, of course, these are pretty open-ended activities. They're really easy to scale up or down depending on where your kid is at. And I did not have a problem using um, the activities that we chose from here with both of my kids. So she starts out with a really nice overview of the philosophy behind uh, North Star Educational Explorations. And I really like that they put such a heavy emphasis on environmental concerns um, and stewardship. So it's a really nice way to tie in some important issues with child-led learning and getting out into nature. So throughout this unit study, and I don't know if it's in all the unit studies or just this one, um, but you are going to be working on a discovery journal with your kids and there's a nice printable sheet. It's open-ended enough that they can um, do as little or as much with it as you want them to or as they feel led to. Uh, but there, it's a nice way to prompt them a little bit on, you know, coming up with curious questions about the topic that you're studying and making observations about uh, what you learned in each activity. So I really appreciated having that kind of guideline. After coming up with some questions uh, to kind of guide your exploration, 
you are presented with quite a few activities that kind of span different skills areas or subject areas. So there are some reading selections that are excellent reading selections tailored to different age levels. There are a couple of videos that are also tailored to different age levels. There is a uh, like a prompt to oops. There is a prompt also to do a story about a kid who grows up during this time period. That wound up being a big hit, actually. I was surprised at how inspired my kids were by some of the reading selections to go off and basically just write their own story about a kid who lived during the Dust Bowl. Um, if he allows it, I will share my son's story that he did. It was an entire You Choose book basically with all these different choices and selections for pages that you could turn to and different endings um, it turned out really really cute there's also a hands-on activity where you kind of explore how important it is to root the soil and when that topsoil is damaged how easily it gets blown or washed away and it's laid out very nicely with a list of supplies and steps to take to um, set up this activity and of course it's messy, which they love. There are also a couple of activities that tie into math concepts like place value and the power of 10, um, and basically just exploring very large numbers as it pertains to the Dust Bowl, you know, millions of tons of soil and acres of farmland and, and things like that. Of course, it's not a substitute for a regular math curriculum, in my opinion. Um, those, that's something that really needs to be tailored to each individual child's skill set. But it's nice that those activities tie into, you know, what they're learning about. There's also a really nice guided um, geography activity, and here I'll share. She has included a map. Oops. <laughs> she has included a map with both the state abbreviations and without. So with an older child, you could certainly tailor this to their level and expect more out of them. And there is also a really nice set of timeline cards, and I'll just show you one page of these. So the PDF includes beautiful color photos for each of the timeline cards. And she also includes um, blank cards. If your kids like to draw their own pictures, they can do that. And this can be just made into a simple timeline or they can be turned into a game where kids try to organize them into a logical time sequence. Unfortunately, we did not get around to doing the timeline activity, but I want to hang on to those and either now add them to our history timeline or save them for when we get to that time period and then use them, but they're really well done. And as an added bonus, at the end of our unit study week, we did the freebie that she has on their website for a soil layer pudding jar activity. The back has a really nice color, of course, diagram of all the different layers of soil and how the importance of each layer of soil. And then you're prompted to build a jar with different layers. So I'll include a picture here of what we did. Um, we did solid chocolate for like the bedrock layer and we crushed up some graham crackers and mixed it with peanut butter and pudding. And it was really fun to make all the different layers. And of course we needed some organic matter and included some gummy worms on top. <laughs> So as far as unit studies go, I was impressed with just how much was included in this unit study and all the different areas of study it covers. The book selections were excellent. The videos were good. You can tell there was definitely a lot of thought and um, consideration put into making this unit study. So if her other unit studies are anything like this, I highly recommend going to check out northstareducationalexplorations.com and I'll include the link down below to her website and also their Instagram account so you can follow them. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing this unit study together. I'm not usually a unit study type of homeschooler, but it was a nice break from what we normally do for history and science. And of course, anything that involves hands-on and yummy snacks <laughs> is gonna be a win. 
So of course I will link to their website down below and to their Instagram account. Be sure to go check it out. There's an email newsletter you can sign up for and they also have a couple of freebies including that soil pudding activity that I showed you. And of course, thank you so much to Courtney Cross and North Star Educational Explorations for giving me the opportunity to review this curriculum. So if curriculum reviews and flip throughs are your jam, or if you are a secular homeschooler looking for more support and resources, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.